In each of these flasks, we have some sodium thiosulfate. They differ in concentration. The first one has 100% sodium thiosulfate, the middle one 80%, and the last one 60%. You can see that we've placed a piece of paper with a cross drawn under each of the flasks. And the reason for this is because during the reaction of sodium thiosulfate with hydrochloric acid, sulfur is produced as one of the products. And sulfur is a yellow precipitate which is going to make the contents of the flask cloudy. And we will see, as an indicator of the rate of the reaction, how much time it takes for us no longer to be able to see the cross looking through the solution. So we now add some hydrochloric acid simultaneously to all of these three. One, two, three. And we watch the reaction occurring. The one which has a greater reaction rate should cloud up earlier after a shorter time than the others. So we should, we would expect that the more reactive one would be the one which has a higher concentration, which is what we are seeing. We see that this one here, which has a higher concentration, is clouding up more rapidly than the others, and it's followed by that one, followed by the one with the lowest concentration. And I think one cannot anymore see. Yes, the, you can't see that cross anymore. That one I can just see. Um, it's fading. Well, I can't see it anymore now. And you can still see this cross here, but it's also fading. So we see that this confirms the fact that concentration affects reaction rate. Higher concentration of reactants causes a greater reaction rate.